Well, I am here with Junior Smith, who is our digital pastor, which means if you have ever sent us a Facebook message, if you have ever emailed us with a prayer question, if you have ever, what else? If you've ever talked to that little box on 100huntley.com that pops up and say, can I help you with anything? Yeah. That is probably, you've talked to Junior Smith. I'm the guy and they always say, are you real? <laughs> are you real? Do they always say that? Yeah, I get that. Are is, you a bot is, or they, are you Exactly. Real? That's what they want to know. Am I talking to a real person? But yes, I'm very real. No, yeah. you're here. You feel real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is happening in the online world of people contacting us? What are you hearing? The online world is a reflection of the wider society, exactly what people are struggling with. And we do have a scale that we categorize the, the calls or the emails or the messages that we get. It goes from emotional needs, family concerns, physical uh, healing, Christian growth, financial. And the top thing that we encounter here at Crossroads, emotional needs, mm. anxiety, depression, sadness, not being able to sleep, all that kind of thing. We also have family concerns, divorce, brokenness in the family, um, issues with abandonment, rejection. All of those are coming to us, people who are struggling f uh, financially, people who are having issues with diseases, chronic pain, all of those things are what people are reaching out wow. to us to, to pray about. What does it mean to people when they see that there's, a, there's someone on the other end of that email or on that chat box that's actually going to pray for them and help them? What, how do they respond? Cheryl, one of the things that people often are surprised about is the fact that there's somebody there. Because many people will say, I have written emails to so many other places or other ministries and no one has responded. And the fact that they can be there and they get a thoughtful response, a response that is not judgmental, a response that is saying to you, there is hope because here is the word of God, a response that has a prayer that is filled with the word of God that you can go back to over and over, praying that prayer without ceasing makes people appreciate the ministry that they receive. Okay, so I know you talk to so many people and hear so many stories. Give me one example of what God's doing through the, this online world. The online world is a, a ripe place of ministry. We're, we're going into the world and we're going here. It's uncharted territory for some people, but for us, we're making use of it. And one of the things that people are struggling with, addictions, overcoming strongholds, and I've been able to be walking with some people through a devotional series, overcoming strongholds, recognizing that whatever we face, it's not about Cheryl fighting against Junior, but it's a spiritual warfare. And walking with people day by day through this kind of struggle makes them appreciate the fact that I have somebody that can pray with me and I have a God who is bigger than anything that I'm going through. So re the, the stories are there, they're, they're precious, but just to put all of them together, strongholds, people are struggling, and the Word of God is there to guide them through it, and they're finding it quite amazing. You know, I admire you so much and the people who answer our phones. It's hard sometimes to hear people's problems yes. all day long. Tell me about some hope that you have seen through your interactions with people. One of the greatest things that I've seen is when somebody calls whether they, or, or email, whether they want to take their lives, mm -hmm. they're going to walk away. I'm going to run away because my, family, my father doesn't like me and I feel rejected. And you can listen. You can listen. I can read a message and I can say there is hope. That is one of the greatest things that I can find. And it's one of the things that gives me joy that I can say to somebody, and when you say those lines, there is hope, it carries so much weight to someone who is actually hopeless. Mm. You know, I'm so thankful for what you do, and I know that you are literally saving people's lives by being that true voice, that actual person on the other end of that chat, the other end of that email. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for having me. And this is part of what you do when you support this ministry. You are changing lives all across this nation and actually around the world. There are no borders on the internet. So thank you. I hope you're encouraged today and make sure you contact us if you need anything. If you need prayer, Junior's gonna be on the other end of that chat. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we are adding new and powerful stories every single day to our 100 Huntley Street YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Yep, right there, you got it. Yep, red.
Subscribe, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. You got it. And stay up to date with our latest content.